Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to come to the end of the runway and I'm going to face the wind and that's when I run up the engine to simulate that, you know, we're in flight cruise and I'll check the keys, make sure the spark plug is working and, and other uh, flight instruments and then we'll be departing shortly after that. Yeehaw. And Julian, the way you, you close that, you'll just hold that down and you'll bring that to the latch and then you have a, a latch on by your by your head. Okay. Is that your flight academy? Nope. Uh, that's the one I was thinking about going to though. So we're going to go ahead, and, and this is what's called engine run-up. Okay. Get my checklist, make sure I do everything right. I don't miss anything. Okay, ground check. We're going to set brakes. Okay, throttle to 2,000. Okay, check magnetos. Left is good. Right is good. Vacuum is good. Oil temperature, oil pressure is good. Enunciator panel test is good. Carburetor heat on. And we have a drop in RPM. That is good. Carburetor heat off. Normal. Idle. And idle is good. We're going to go back up to 1,000. 1,000 RPMs, that is, or close to it. Okay, master switch is on. Flight instruments are all checked. They are good. Fuel selector, we're on the fullest tank. Mixture is rich. Electric fuel pump on. Carburetor heat is off. Primers in and locked. Engine gauges, again, oil pressure is good. Temps good. Amps are good. Fuel pressure is good. Two full tanks. Static source is normal. Okay, seats, uh, make sure you go like this, make sure you're not sliding around. Yeah, Okay, uh, your seat back is okay, belts and everybody's belt, we're good. We just have this one, right? Yep, that's it. Okay. okay. Flaps, we're not going to use any flaps. Uh, trim tab is neutral. All right, going to check the, the controls. So when I turn left, sorry about that, oh yeah, you have to, when I turn left, that flap goes up. That flap goes down with that aileron, actually. When I turn to the right, that one goes up. The one on the left goes down. And then we'll neutral. Tango X-ray, where do you park? All full, and we'll check the rudder. Tango X-ray, taxi to the uh, pumps via Juliet cross out. Okay. Status frequency. Set the frequency. Tango X-ray. Offset approach. 119. Okay, 119 is good. Number 617, Kilo Papa, George Santario. Yeah. We go 120.85. And I'm just setting my radios up so I know uh, where to be going next. Okay, actually, no, I don't want that one. Yeah, I do. Okay, yep, we're good. Okay, all right, there we go. Proper frequency, altitude, my transponder is good. All right, so we're going to do a normal takeoff. I'm not going to use any flaps. And what I'm going to do is we're going to get out of the runway. I'm going to give it full RPMs. Uh, we're going to accelerate to about 60 knots right there. I'm going to pull back on the stick just a little bit, and then the plane will just naturally rise off, and we'll be fine. And hopefully we'll be making a turn to the right. So close this. Yes, we can close that. Close that, and then we have your latch. Right here, right? Yep. Okay. And let me make sure that's good. Okay, I want to make sure we are recording. And we are recording. What about the one in the front? It's recording as well. Oh, yay. Okay, you guys ready? Grumman 73 uniform, it's your ready. choice. You can have the uh, right downwind or the right base to 1 8. Either way, you're following traffic. This is about uh, two miles out of you. Okay, we'll make our way to a right base for 1 8 and looking for the traffic. Grumman 73 uniform. Grumman 73 uniform, Roger. 
Experimental 7 Kilo Papa, clear to land, runway 18, wind 1605. 160. Clear wow. to land, runway 18. That's all right, Bill. Uh, uh, that's where the wind is coming from, and we're taking off on 1-1. We're going to have a little bit of a crosswind, which, but it's nothing, so we're good. Let me know when you want me to turn on the AC. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, can you Georgetown Tower, Archer, November 3A, Charlie Tango, holding short of runway 11, ready for departure to the south. Archer 3A, Charlie Tango, Georgetown Tower, turn right on course, runway 11, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 11, turn right on course, Charlie Tango. All right, so we got clear. Grumman 7-3, uniform spacing is good with the traffic you're following. You're number two, clear right. to land, runway 18. Okay, number two, clear to land, 18, Grumman 7-3, uniform. Okay, airspeed is alive. A little bit of a crosswind. 40. 50. 55. 60, we'll stop pulling back. And we're flying. Oh, this is fun. Archer 3 Charlie Tango, are you headed to Bergstrom? Negative, we're heading south of Bergstrom to Lockhart. 5 0 Romeo. 3 Charlie Tango, Roger, did you want to play following? Uh, yes, we, we would. Are you planning on going around the east side of the uh, of the Class C? Uh, actually, I was planning on going over. Trade Charlie Tango. Okay, I'll stand by. Let me see what I can do for you. Uh, thank you, Charlie Tango. Roger that. Trade Charlie Tango. What altitude are you requesting? Five thousand five hundred. Archer Three Charlie Tango. Squawk zero two five one. Grumman 7-3 uniform, your traffic to follow is on short final. 0251 for Charlie Tango, thank you. Uh, 7-3 uniform has been site now. Grumman 7-3 uniform, Roger. Kilo Papa, where do you park? Yes, we are gonna park in general parking, seven kilo papa. Seven kilo papa, turn left at taxiway golf. Oh, left two again two on two Lima, cross one one two nine to parking. Left on golf, left on Lima and cross one. Oh. Two three, Charlie Tango, contact Austin approach one two seven point two two. One two seven point two two, Charlie Tango, thank you. November 38, Charlie Tango with you at 2000. 38, Charlie Tango, you still have Georgetown, Austin, 2722. Uh, copy, thank you. First here, Yankee approach, are you up? Approach Archer 38 Charlie Tango with you at 2200. Always oh, have problems with your Southwest State 50, 2300, climate of 4000. Southwest 850, Austin departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 1 2000, proceed uh, direct dry legs. Correction, turn left heading 060. I'm the 1 2000, left turn 060, Southwest 850. Eclipse 
Route Zero, Foxtrot Lima, continue descent via the arrival. The traffic's passing 1 to 2 o'clock and 4 miles now. Traffic is high, clean, uh, continue descent uh, via the arrival. Three miles, four miles. Number 8, Papa Zulu, that traffic's passing to your right in a mile and a half. Resume on navigation and contact Houston Center 132.15. On navigation, 132.25. Uh, 88, Papa Zulu, good day. Number 8, Papa Zulu, it's 3215, 132.15. 132.15, stand corrected, 88, Papa Zulu, good day. <laughs> stand correct. Angle off center approach. Radar contact, 5 miles southeast of the Georgetown Airport. Altimeter 29er, 901. 29901 for Charlie Tango. Thank you. Number 8, Charlie Tango, would you like to just climb uh, to 55 and go straight over the airport, and then I'll have descent about one zero miles south of the airport for Lockhart, or did you want to go out to the east? Uh, no, you are first. We'll uh, go 5,500, uh, if that's okay. November 8, Charlie Tango, proceed on course, Lockhart. Proceed on course, Charlie Tango. So I got all my radio clearances done. You guys. I dropped a Roger that in there. I didn't know they were still talking to you. Now we're good. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Yes. That was funny. I had no idea. I thought it was just done. We were in the air and they were doing a few things. And I was like, Roger. And I didn't realize that this guy could probably actually hear me. Oh, we were good. What a beautiful view. It is. You know, it's a little hazy today, uh, but but that, I mean... Also notice it's very California-ish right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it. Enjoy the beautiful smog view we have here at 5,500 feet. Contact approach 119. Three miles of visibility all around. Uh, November 4, 0, Sierra Yankee, Austin and, approach. And uh, this altitude you may have struggles uh, breathing uh, <laughs> due to all the smog in the air. That's pretty neat. Southwest 850, contact Houston Center 132. All right. Any questions? How you, yeah. So okay. how do you feel comfortable not really being able to see right over top? I'm completely and totally comfortable. Right, I know that, but I mean, did it take you a bit to get used to that? Uh, um, not really having complete full visibility, just relying strictly on the instrumentation and what people are telling you? No, actually, it was, it was okay. I never really had any um, any issues with it. See, I, I'd be wanting to be, like, looking and stuff. And Coming over Round Rock now. Oh, I see Dell computers. Put Sir Fox Charlie, yeah. contact approach 125.32. Where do you see Dell? Off oh, to the right? Yeah, off to the right. I see John's house. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I see Shoreline. You probably will see Shoreline. Charlie Tango, just so we can clarify, maintain VFR at 5,500. Roger, uh, Charlie Tango. So you're Charlie Tango? Yes. Is that your name or is that the plane's name? That's the plane's name right here. Oh, okay. And, uh, and you'll hear me say Archer because uh, this is a, a Piper uh, Archer. It's also a, a Piper Cherokee, uh, but the sub-model is Archer. Okay, Shoreline is just right to the front of us, to the right there. Yeah, you guys see it. Uh, approach, uh, November 4 0 Sierra Yankee, we're out of 8,000. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yep. November 4 0 Sierra Yankee, Austin approach, Austin, Big old building. Nine or nine or one. Maintain BFR at As I like to refer to it as an experienced pilot, um, you look for landmarks <laughs> that you recognize. Yeah. yeah. I recognized the water tower landmark, and I immediately knew directly to the uh, west southwest of or east southeast i correct myself of the tower 
uh, is the Shoreline Church. And directly uh, to our west, southwest, is a freeway called Mopac. <laughs> Mopark. Mopark, yeah, as places. some people refer to it. And um, as you guys may have noticed, there are um, several buildings, large buildings, below us here. And uh, those buildings are referred to as the Dell Company or Dell Incorporated for those who may <laughs> use uh, PCs, laptops, or servers, or any types of software needs. Uh, there's Dell. Cheaper, 190 heavy Austin departure, radar contact, climb and maintain. Founded by Michael Dell back in 1982. <laughs> started at the University of Texas. But did not finish. Did not finish. And started a company in his dorm room, for those that did not know. Interesting. And made a, quite a success out of it, uh, from what I've heard. So. <laughs> billion dollars yeah. or more. Yeah, a billion, two billion. Hey, who's counting? Okay, we're just climbed through 5,000 feet. And we're coming up on my house, my apartment complex, you also see known it? as Broadstone Trevisia. Yeah, it's uh, to the right here. I'm searching for it, navigating, as they say uh, in pilot speak, <laughs> um, navigating for the apartment complex. And. Uh, I have two kitties, um, <laughs> Sunshine and Moonshine. <laughs> Which one do you like better? I love both of them. Um, equally? Equally the same. So Sunshine is what I would refer to as the little baby kitty. She, <laughs> She's not little or a baby, but she meows like a little baby. <laughs> and I... Still, she still acts like a little baby kitty, and um, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, and she's very scared, and frightened, like a little baby kitty, and um, she's very soft natured, and she doesn't like to fight back. But you know, she likes her treats. She likes to meow in my face and wake me up. Um, <laughs> she will come and touch you a thousand times in the morning until you finally wake up. No traffic You don't need an alarm. No, not with her. She will wake you up anywhere between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. You can count on it. But, um, so, Moonshine is what I would say, she's more of a daddy's girl. So, she likes to go everywhere I go. And where, if I'm laying down, she comes and makes sure she lays down on top of me. Um, she's always with me. Sunshine's always with me, too, but Sunshine's a little bit more independent. Uh, but Moonshine is always with me everywhere I go. She likes to show off and get my attention. Run around the house like she's doing something really cool. And she wants to get my attention and my uh, uh, affection all the time. So. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, she's a good kitty too. Speedbird 190, heavy pursuit direct to Alexi. She's the mom of Sunshine, even though she's younger. Oh. So Sunshine lets her, she does all the grooming to Sunshine. She grooms her, cleans her, and Sunshine just takes it like a little baby. She just lays down and lets her clean her. <laughs> Sometimes they'll groom each other, but usually that ends up in a swatting match. They'll start hitting each other. Do they fight? Yeah, they chase each other. They never really fight to hurt each other, but they'll chase each other around the house every day. It's back and forth. Back, like, like you can... Be in the and like I'll be in the bedroom and I'm watching TV and I just hear like pitter patter running through the house and I'll glance down and I'll see both of them chasing each other back and forth back and forth. That is cute. Yeah, it's cute compared to what they used to be when they first when I first introduced them to each other. They did not like each other at all. Oh really? Oh no. Uh, how long did it take them to like each other? About two weeks, two and a half weeks. When I first got Moonshine, um, well, I got Sunshine first, and then I got Moonshine. And I brought her in, and she had, um, she was really sick. And I took her to the vet, and she was, they didn't know if she was going to live or not, but they gave her an IV, and gave her shots and everything. And so she got the, the kennel cough, kennel infection, you know, you get, oh, yeah. they get, they get from the, from the um, kennels and all that jazz, and then, so she was always sleeping under the bed. She never came out, but I didn't realize she just didn't feel good. She was sick. 
and I took her to the vet in a couple days and she she got better and um, regained her strength and you know she was scared in a new house getting hit that you know had a fever um, for several days but she lived she lived through it Thank goodness. Yeah, thanks. I know. God. I know. I was, I was, believe it or not, like, I didn't think I really cared. Like, I missed my cat that I left at home, and I didn't bring her because she was an outdoor cat, you know, indoor, outdoor. So I was like, well, I'll, I'll get the Austin, and I'll, I'll go get one. And I got Sunshine, and, you know, she was a good little cat. And How'd you choose Sunshine out of all those cats? I tried to adopt several, and they were already adopted. They're like, no, nope, that one's taken, that one's taken, that one's taken. I was like, okay, well, let me grab this one. And, um, I just got her out. She was, I think she was four months old, and she was real playful, and she was fun, and um, I was like, all right, I'll take this one. And um, so they let you play with them a little bit before you adopt them. And um, I was like, I'll take her. And uh, so I took her, brought her home, and she was with me for about four months, and I felt bad leaving her alone a lot because I was gone a lot, and so I ended up getting her a buddy. And, um, once I got Moonshine, um, they both, um, Approach mark point yeah, like I said, it was, a, it was a rough start, but they really got along well after so. So now they're best friends. They are. They really like each other. Okay, uh, Julian, if you look right over the nose, that's Austin Bergstrom right, right under us. Oh, no, it is, actually. Wow. Austin departure, okay. radar contact. So are we going around it? Or are nope. we going, We're going right over it. Right over it. Nice. So they're clearing out the airspace for us. Actually, we're nine six nine. Proceed on course. Uh, we're over the airspace, so that uh, we don't they don't need to do anything for us, really. How high are we? Uh, five thousand four hundred and sixty feet. This one is more accurate than than that one. So it's. Uh, I think it's up to nine eighty seven out of fifteen seven to send via the Wiley. Yeah. Via the India. Oh, that's cool. Southwest 2987, I think this is Decker Lake over here to the left. Decker? Oh, that's yep. cool. John, would you want to buy a single engine? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, I'd like to, um, just to build time in. Yeah. Um, but what uh, what I would really like to wind up owning eventually would be a twin. So, one, two, you could just yeah. go faster. And not, not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you could actually go faster, right? Oh, yeah. And it's India. Two pop hotel, get it? Number two pop hotel, expect one seven one. Expect one seven one, two pop hotel. Any questions? Do we have to turn our uh, phones on in airplane mode? Oh, I didn't tell you that you had? No, I'm just joking. Why do you have to do that in a big plane then? Because they're uh, avionics. Well, technically you don't have to. I mean, do you have to? But uh, it's really not gonna mess anything up. They just want, don't want you to use it to distract people or pilots or anything like that. Uh. So it doesn't mess with the signal. Yankee, contact San Marcos. Well, it, it will. Okay. So it will mess with the instruments, uh -huh. but it's not enough to, uh, you know, to to mess it up, really. So right now you have to look at all the screens, and you have to know all the numbers. Uh, yes. On every single dial screen. Yes. So uh, when we get to. Um, I just want to see what this feels sure. like. Oh, neat. Go ahead and go like this real slow, though. But neat. Go ahead, a yeah. little more. A little more. A little more. A little more. A little more. Like that? Huh? Nice. So, um... And push forward just a little bit. There we go. There you go. That. All right, y'all know what we need to do? What? Okay, for this, we need to, like, just do a selfie. 
<laughs> okay, so y'all like come up close, Julian. We're gonna do a selfie and just everybody smile, and, and then I'll crop it whenever we get the video done. You ready? All right. All right, here we go. Smile. And we're good. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did, did I do that? Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and turn a little bit to the right. I was looking at the uh, the camera. Okay. Go ahead and push forward a little bit. Yeah. Are you feel. driving, Julian? Yeah. Hi. He's flying, not driving. Flying, driving, on land. This is in the air. Okay, you want to go ahead and push forward a little bit. There you go. And turn to the right. It's getting that feel. Whoa. You can feel when that... Uh, and push forward. There you go. Push forward more. 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 There we go. Go. All right. Whoa. See, like I'm getting this off balance here. I'll let you take it. All right. I got the controls. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like it. I do too. This is so much fun. What is that uh, blue? Okay, that's the uh, parking stuff down there. No, no, that's the airport. Okay. But a twin engine. Oh, crap. What is, oh, how far would it take us to get from, let's say, from here to Lockhart? right now at this plane. 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Well, it's about 30 minutes. Uh, I think it was 34 minutes in flight. How long does it take to drive there? An hour, almost. I think it takes, takes a little bit longer. Than that. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right, because actually, I did it not too long ago, a few months ago. It's, it was a little over an hour, about maybe an hour and 15. Between you and the Smithville Airport, radar services terminated as fuck VFR, frequency and crew, have a good night. How is this plane different than the one you normally fly? Um, the one I normally fly, it has all these kind of gauges. It doesn't have this, uh, this in it. Oh, okay. Or, uh, looks like a 32.74 Which one do you like better? Um, I like this one because it gives you more information. At just I can just look and I can have more information. Um, whereas I look at these and I kind of have to interpret it. Yeah. Good afternoon, Navo 65 Tango Tango. So the uh, like a twin Navo, engine. Six, seven, how long would it take you to fly a twin engine two, nine, from nine, nine, Georgetown? Two, nine, nine, one. Yeah, probably maybe ten minutes less. And our ground speed is 103 knots which means it is, we're doing just over 115 miles an hour on the ground, but we have a 13 knot headwind as well, so it's taking 13 knots off of our speed. So normally we could be flying at about 130 something miles an hour. So there was no wind. We'll have a bit, a bit of a tailwind behind us, won't we, on the way back? Yes, we will. It's always neat, like when I would fly from the west coast to the east coast, so flying from the west coast, you had the tailwind from the jet stream um, pushing back east. Yes. But man, going from west to east, once we hit the Rockies, oh my gosh, getting over back, you probably, it was, oh, yeah. you could feel it. Oh, there goes a plane taking off there, guys. You see that? To the right? That would oh, actually, yeah, uh, some people call that two o'clock. <laughs> so now he's moving up more towards the uh, one o'clock area, so. Off to the right. See if I can talk in my radio voice here. <laughs> You're doing a good job. <laughs> There's a plane taking off at uh, one o'clock, uh, flying south southwest. Uh, looks like a Douglas uh, 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 seems to me like a full house in that plane, and uh, 
safe travels and safe flight, folks. <laughs> hey, Julian, I think I, I think you need to give the uh, in-flight in uh, briefing. I should actually. Uh, let me know what you want to do. Go for it. Uh, all right, I'll go ahead and do it this time. Okay. And we got a plane in front of us, which are thousand feet below us. I can see that actually, and he's uh, making a bend to the right here. A <laughs> bend, yeah. But, uh, we would call that, in pilot speak, a um, a turnaround, I believe. And uh, Ooh, that was fun. But then we felt yeah. a little bit of we felt a little bit of his weight there. Um, for anyone listening here on the Austin Bergstrom Airport, uh, my name is Julian Bell, and uh, I'm a co-pilot here, just letting me know you're there. And I uh, just want to let you guys know, safe flights, uh, safe travels here this Friday afternoon. And, uh, I wish all you well. Let me up. If you're going to stay on the north side of the airport, won't be a factor. Your radar services are terminated. It's going to be a You can hear me. Uh, just give me a Archer. vector, Victor, and uh, we're good. Your east, he's no factor. I'm saying. The helicopter one hit a little more. Roger that. Roger that. Roger. <laughs> And if you guys can see below, uh, there's a freeway system, um, and it looks like, uh, some would say, a uh, bridge to nowhere, but um, it actually does go somewhere, and, um, and but we're not going there. But we're not going there. In Texas, um, there's plenty of places to go, and uh, I can just assure you all folks that uh, I think that bridge there is going to... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it'll take you down to San Antonio on the outside there, more on the north northwest side there. Um, if I'm not mistaken, so <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> Roger that. Tango Mike. Tango Mike. Zulu. Zulu. Cherokee yeah. <laughs> Alpha Bravo. Charlie. Try to prove your discretion. Repeat for Charlie Tango. Piper Eight Charlie Tango via far descent for Lockhart will be at your discretion. I understand. Uh, just end my discretion for Lockhart, uh, Charlie Tango. Okay, so... For a scare of any 7 Romeo Mike, we're with you off of Fentress, uh, about 8 miles north of Fentress, climbing through 2,700 for 3,500. We'd like to get flight following up to Taylor. We're doing a... Uh, Taylor? Uh, uh, Scott Avenue. You may have heard of a guy that uh, grew up in Taylor. <laughs> His name is John Greeter, Greeter uh, also known as Lieutenant Major in the Air Force, John Greeter. He's flying a Piper. Uh, it's N38 Charlie Tango on this Friday afternoon. Flying to Lockhart, Texas. Traffic 11 o'clock. One going to Black's Barbecue. Is a Cherokee descending out of 5,400. All right, seven Mike, we're looking. Are we dropping? Yeah, we're going to go. Charlie Tango, traffic 1 o'clock, 1 zero miles, north northeast bound is a caravan at 3,600. Uh, Roger, we'll look out for traffic, Charlie Tango. Parking southwest, 494, 2 for 4. So it's 494, outside of the parking radar contact, turn left, direct to Lexi, climb, maintain 1, 2,000. Up to uh, 12,000 now, direct to Lexi, southwest, 494. Service wireless is a few thousand feet, thousand, two thousand. No, no, I don't really. It'd be nice to know, like maybe during a zombie apocalypse or something like that. But uh, where's the? If there's a zombie apocalypse, whatever, we can come up in the plane. Right. That's yep. what I'm saying. We get in the plane. We know how high we can fly and still talk to people. So. Yeah, and okay. I got a, I got a call. Uh, Austin, and approach seven, Mike. We're, um, we're actually going to be doing a demo jump uh, at a high school called Hutto Football Field. It's just to the uh, oh. west of Taylor. 
Number 7 Romeo, my flight to work familiar. Your traffic is now 11 o'clock, 3 miles off the direction, descending out of 4,500. All right, we got him on the box. We're looking for him. 3 Charlie Tango, traffic's now 12 o'clock, 2.5 miles, opposite direction at 4,100. We're looking for traffic at Mickey Charlie Tango. And I was going to cancel the flight. Romeo, my but the, air, the runway's right in front of us. Right you see it? Zero, it's, uh, see, you lock art the, where the trees are, it's nice and green. Yeah. And then if you look, it looks like a road. Sir, just past it. Right. That is our destination. Oh, so we're there already? Yep. Holy cow. That was fast. I'm Romeo, my traffic's now 11 o'clock in about a mile. All right, we got a bit fight, thanks. Number 8, Charlie Singer, traffic is now um, moving to 11 o'clock and about a mile at 4,500 feet. Still looking for that traffic, uh, Charlie Tinker. So it's, he's right Number about it. I saw, I thought I saw you. something. I'm going to pass off your left I side. Radar services are terminated. Squawk VFR for change proof. Was that last transmission for Charlie Tango? November 8, Charlie Tango, traffic snow factor. Radar services terminated. Squawk VFR frequency change is approved. Copy, Squawk VFR frequency change approved. Thanks for your services, Charlie Tango. And a part of the front country, 8102 And so, 1200 means that I'm VFR and responsible for myself now. Okay. Air speed now. Throttle yes, up. and we're nine point nine. Where's clear? Clear. All right. One twenty-two point eight. So to bring some. Um, All right, hold on one second. The oh. Lockhart traffic sounds three three Charlie Papa turning down in one eight Lockhart. Cherokee 38 Charlie Tango, five miles to the north, passing through 3000, descending for runway 18 uh, Lockhart. Okay, go ahead. I said to bring some perspective to flying here uh, with all these instruments and everything. So, Lockhart traffic 733 Charlie Papa up. and downwind 18 Lockhart. Okay. So, can you imagine? Being a fighter pilot, flying, let's say, Mach 1, 1.5, um, in and out of a... Traffic not available. A slower, maybe even a slower speed in a dogfight, having to keep your eyes on the instruments, no oh, yeah. where you're at, I mean, and dealing with the enemy that's trying to kill you at the same time. All right. Hey, let's go ahead and do our pre-landing checklist. Sure. Uh, make sure your seatbelts are still fastened. Um, I'm going to mixture to rich, electric fuel pump on. I'm going to go ahead and switch tanks to the fullest tank. And fuel pressure is still good. And I'm going to make a radio call here in just a second. Seatbelts on. It's a cool little town. Lockhart, Cherokee 38, Charlie Tango, three miles to the north uh, for runway 18. Going to do a straight in approach at, uh, at Lockhart. Lockhart traffic, uh, uh, we are sending the downwind uh, and traffic inside 723 Charlie Papa. Lockhart traffic. We'll look out for traffic, Charlie Papa. Go ahead and do first train. notch of flaps. Oh. We see a train behind us. Lockhart traffic. Turkey 38 Charlie Tango, one and a half mile final for runway 18. Uh, full stop. Lockhart traffic. Lockhart traffic 733 Charlie Papa, turning base 18 Lockhart. Charlie Tango is going to do a go around. I don't like what this guy's doing, but that's all right. 
What guy? He's, um, I'm calling my radio calls and, and I called final and he turned base, which is not. Lockhart traffic, Charlie Papa, final 1-8 Lockhart. And what did he do? He's turning final under us and it's, I don't like that. So you might see a guy under us. Lockhart traffic, Cherokee 38 Charlie Tango is, oh gosh, east, uh, turning east away from runway 18, going to enter as a traffic pattern. At, on a left downwind for runway 18, uh, Lockhart traffic. Yeah. That feels great. Now we're flying. Woohoo! Lockhart traffic, Cherokee 38, Charlie Tango is entering a left downwind for runway 18, full stop. Just in case you guys didn't know. Yeah, thanks. So, 
thoughts. Thanks for the explanation. You're quite welcome. Anything else, uh, just feel free to ask. Okay. <laughs> Given no need to ring buttons or bells here, push buttons, I'm free to chat with you. <laughs> More than welcome to share my expertise of, nav of navigating the skies. thing right here is called a compass rose that if you see the paint on the uh -huh. and folks if you need any explanation of what this means that just lets you know what direction you're pointing um, north south east and west oh okay um, so thought you might want to know yes I know that. Yeah, I know. I, I'm always here for you guys. Any questions? <laughs> Actually, I know it seems like I'm just driving in circles, but I've never parked here before, so I'm just trying to figure out where to park. And we'll park over here just because it looks cooler. try to line up perfectly within this little T um, when they're parking. Um, so, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Wings right over that. That's All right. Job. <laughs> Fantastic, though. Yeah. I, I couldn't have done it better myself. All right. 